our truck driver, and the most safety-minded and the most courteous, and the first to stop and help kind when there's trouble, little things like blink and signal lights and help someone pass. So you just got to be good people like some I've had the pleasure of meeting. Down to earth, hard working, family men, and a lot of you like... What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. We've learned Earth's languages through the World Wide Web. Truck driver found dead in his truck after a couple of days. Well, <clears throat> we have another one. Um, we have another driver. Rest in peace to this driver. Um, unfortunately, he was found in his uh, truck. And um, and he was there for for a couple of days, um, as as stated in this video. Flying J Aurora, Oregon, uh, three eight twenty twenty three. Truck driver found dead. Reports say that he'd been here a couple of days. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Our truck driver. And the most safety-minded and the most courteous and the first to stop and help kind when there's trouble, little things like blink and signal lights and help someone pass. So you just got to be good people like some I've had the pleasure of meeting. Down to earth, hard working, family men, and a lot of you like country music. And that makes you okay in my book. Ah, sounds like we might be buttering you up, don't it? But, of course... Now, a couple of people in the comment section is showing their sentiments and everything. A uh, couple of them that stood out, you know, kind of like said why the company didn't check on him. That's understandable. I mean, if you haven't heard from your driver in a couple of days, you know, let's say if the driver is on the 34. Now, if the driver is on the 34, then I guess the company is not going to inspect to check on the driver because, you know, he's on this 34. So he might be away from his truck, uh, whatever the case. But if you don't hear from your driver or or the driver don't check in a couple of days after the 34, then that's some cause for concern on the company part. Then the company should be able to reach out to that driver to see if he's okay or not. Now, companies, a lot of companies, I'm not sure about owner operators or, you know, like small fleet owners, but companies like mine and mega carriers, they know where their trucks are at all the time. Now, I'm not going to talk about the mega carriers. I want to talk about my company. My company knows where the truck is at all the time. Every time. They can, they, they can GPS it, pull up a picture, and they can actually see the truck where it's at. And if the truck with my company, if the truck is at a place for too long, you best believe somebody from my company is going to reach out to me and say, hey, are you okay? Uh, what What's going on? And if I don't respond, then my company will reach out to the proper authorities to come and do a wellness check on me. Now, again, if he wasn't on a 34 or something like that, and maybe he was there a couple of days, maybe he was there for his 10, and he was a couple of days after the 10, the company should still reach out to that driver to see what's going on. Rather, if the driver haven't passed and just left and abandoned the truck, or is something going on with the driver? I'm sure my company would try to attempt to reach out to me a couple of times before they go ahead and say, hey, let's get a wellness check on our driver. There should be no way, in my humble opinion, that 
a driver should be laying up unalive in his truck for more than a week. Not even I, I'm I'm just pushing it to that. It shouldn't even be like maybe two. It shouldn't even be a couple of days, but it shouldn't even be more than a week. That company should have had something had something in play to go and check on that driver. And it's just unfortunate that a lot of companies out here don't do that. They don't do that. They don't care. My condolences goes out to this family and all families that have lost drivers in their trucks. This goes to show you the the seriousness of what's going on out here. And a lot of you guys play too much. All of you do. Y'all play too much. Y'all think it's a play thing. And it's not. And with these companies, they just consider us as, as meat in the seat. I don't even know what that means, but they consider us as numbers. You call in and be like, hey, you know, this is a uh, lockout man. Who? Lockout man. Who? Truck number 228. Oh, oh, oh okay. 228. Okay. What's up, 228? <sighs> but again, my question is to the dispatchers, to the companies. Why are y'all not checking on your drivers? Why is it taking you this long to 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 get a wellness check if you know that your driver hasn't hasn't checked in in the in a day or two? But you know what though? And I'm about to tell you guys the worst part of all this, the worst part is that after they get finished, you know, processing the processing the truck and you know, get in the, you know, get in the body to who they need to get it to. All that company is going to do is go have somebody, uh, have somebody recover the truck, take the truck back to the shop, get it detailed and get it ready for another driver in a couple of days. Big G's got it locked. Insecurity, me, your feelings now.